Morning guys, welcome back to the off-grid homestead cabin building vlog. Today, we're gonna try to fix my mistake. <clears throat> Yesterday was a pretty rainy day. We decided that we're gonna end up going ahead and painting the floor. Gotta wait for it to dry. We're supposed to have a couple more rainy days here um, tomorrow and the next day. But then, after that, it should be dry for a while. We'll go ahead and paint it. And that's how it's gonna be probably for a year or two or longer, who knows how long, but we're just gonna paint that subfloor and uh, go with that. If you've been following along on our build here, we've been plumbing for a few days now and I made a major mistake in my last video. I forgot to, um, I forgot to plumb, no, I forgot to vent the, um, bathtub look at that man terrible i had an idea of how i could fix it but i didn't hear back from the inspector and i'm tired of waiting so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it the way that i had on my plans so on my plans this part right here is supposed to connect into a sanitary t and then from there come down into the three inch pipe so i've got to try to get this up there what I was trying to do was spare myself having to buy a new T or a new um, P trap and just put it in here, but I didn't hear back from them. And so I ended up purchasing another one. I only need part of it though, really, huh? First things first, I guess we're gonna cut this guy off. Leave enough room that we can get a coupling on there. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut it off here. Beautiful, huh? Sad, but beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Now, we've got our new piece here. Which we only need, we only need this part. We don't even need this part. Maybe you can buy them separately, I don't know. But they didn't have them separately where I was shopping. That guy's gonna fit right there. Like that. Go ahead and screw that on there. Okay, now what? Now, this is the problem, is this is already fixed here. So we've gotta to try to get, oh man, that's not gonna fit. It's not, it's not gonna work guys. I don't know, there's no way. Hmm. Okay, what if we go like this? So we put that on there, it's not gonna fit. Uh, what do we do? How do we make that fit? <sighs> oh, I think I know how. We, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and take this guy off, All right? Whoa, wait, that's full of water. See, proof it rained. Okay, so if we were to cut that off so that it could go up higher, that could probably do it, right? Let's see here. And how high, or, or, right? Like, we could bring it over like that. Yeah, that's the ticket master. He's the ticket master. All right, put that guy back on there. Let's see here. Okay. So, let's see. If we bring this over like that, that ought to work. Yeah. That should do the trick, man. Right? Right? Shouldn't that work? Now then. Now then. We're gonna have a coupling. We're gonna have a coupling on here. Okay, that's gonna go on here. About like that. And this guy is gonna go on here. All right, well, we really stuck that thing on there, man. 
Let's set the dryer fit and stuff again. Okay. We'll go ahead and glue one side of that on. All right. So we need a piece to go from there to there, right at the end of the fine print. What's up? Good, how are you? What's up? Yeah, you coming down? Look who showed up. <laughs> Magic, she's here. Hi, Jules. Hi. <laughs> you ready? Ready, looking good. Okay, and that fits on there. So this part goes down on here. Like that. Let's go on over here. Somewhere. Huh. Oh, I see now. That's where the vents were. Yeah. There. Yeah. So this can go up. This can go up higher, like that, right there. Here we go. So that will work right there. That'll work, just like that. What so do this, you think? Yeah. So this one right here was pretty level, huh? This? Yeah. Yeah, just that little bit. I mean, it's not going very far. Yeah. But yeah. So, I mean, this will come down a little bit further because these always slide out farther when you glue them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be it, man. Nice. Water will come in. So we gotta cut another hole. Yep, I have to cut another hole. So there we go, that's it, man. That's the, that's the new piece. Okay, we're coming down to the moment of truth. I'm ready to glue up the final pieces here. If it doesn't work, we're, we're stuck again, man. We're stuck with a problem. Quarter turn, push it on there. All the way, quarter turn. And up there. Okay, still soft enough to be able to make any adjustments. Okay, don't leave nothing undone. It's like Mario Brothers with all the yeah, pipes huh. and stuff sticking out. Yep, they were plumbers. <laughs> Mario Brothers. All right, man. We fixed it. Woohoo! Yeah, so this is what this is what my diagram actually showed. The only difference would be is that this was closer to the P trap. Mm. And so hopefully this will be good. Should be good, I would think. I mean, it's only like six inches difference, <laughs> but we'll okay. find out. Let's go up and finish the top, man. We're going to be so close to ready for an inspection today. I mean, like super close. We might even be ready today. Oh. Nice, cool day today. Yet a little sunny. All right, let's go over here and drill a hole, see how close we get, huh? Uh-oh, hope that's not in the stud. Seven and a quarter inches over. So it should be right about here, huh? I think. Yeah, I know. Good thing it wasn't on that stud, huh? I know, I've been paying. It's pretty close. <laughs> So, pop that guy out of there. Bam. Another toy for Tex? Yep. 
All right. Oh, off. Off a of hair. Close though. Yeah. Now we're gonna have a figure eight. <laughs> oh well. Not a big deal. Ah, there we go. Got it. Yeah. Oh, let's just make sure something will fit in there. Yeah. Hmm. It's just a little bit. That guy right there is just a little bit in the way. But that's easily fixable. That'll work. Ah, beautiful. So that's what they made spray foam for. These holes right here. Just like that. Now we can take all this off. Drill, huh? Yeah, way handy. That comes out of there. Set it over here. We're ready for plugging up things, getting it ready to be pressure tested. This is some of the stuff that we got here for our testing. We've got uh, caps like this. Show you where this goes. Come on. Oh, and and we got this. Come on, let's go test this. And we'll just we'll just put this on there for right now. So basically, what they said was, just take that off and you're gonna put this cap on here for testing. I got I got one more thing, I'll be right back. All right, and then this guy goes in here. So you glue that in there and um, put a cap on here. And then on this guy, put, some of this pipe thread sealant on there. Oh, it's yellow. Wow. Get it stirred up good there. Jack. Yeah, look at that stuff, man. Isn't that cool? All right, so we'll put this on the threads here. Then we screw it in, and you can still get it off but it seals it up so that hopefully you never have to take this thing off. But in case you do, it's there. Huh? Exactly. All right, I'll screw it in here. Hot tucks. Yeah, screw it right in there, buddy. It's not good for puppies to eat though. No, no Should puppy tell food. Them. Our problem I have with tucks. tucks. Our biggest problem. Tucks, your biggest problem of a pup being a puppy is your toots stink super bad. <laughs> so bad, guys. He's sorry. <laughs> you do. You stink bad. You toots. <laughs> so tell them what our solution is or well, what we're going to try. Yeah, we did some research and found that apparently Boston Terriers have sensitive stomachs <laughs> sensitive bowels intestinal, or intestinal tracts yeah something <laughs> and so basically we've been feeding them cheap food yeah walmart yeah just like cheap food old roy. old roy i think it's like old roy <laughs> it's got grain fillers in it which they say is not good i mean it's not like it's really bad but not good if you them. have a dog that has a lot of gas yeah. grain fillers can cause them to have bad gas and he's got bad gas. <laughs> Sometimes he startles himself because his gas is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him that a try. And no more snacks. He doesn't get any table scraps or anything like that. So that's not the problem. But we do give him like these rawhide chewy snacks, crunchy snacks or something. She loves those. Yeah, and so that, I mean, that could be a problem. But. And occasionally I'll give him a carrot, so, but I don't know. But yeah, we don't need, we don't give him any table scraps. Yeah. <laughs> but right, but he does eat dirt <laughs> sometimes. And the horse poo what? from over on the neighbors. <laughs> <I'm tux. laughs> 
He's attacking me right now. Be a good example. <laughs> Talks no more. Ow. Good boy. Easy. Good boy. Yeah. Easy. He's like, I need to play. I need to play. It's really bad. <laughs> let's go do the... Let's go do... Let's go do the next one. Come on. The number next? Number next. All right, so anyway, so this guy right here, we can't glue it in yet because we don't have the right glue. PVC to ASB glue, transition glue. So we'll just have to wait on that so we can get everything else done in the meantime. So I don't forget, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. All right, go ahead and do the bathroom sink here. Get away, buddy. Dude, what are you doing? You want to help, huh? You can't help. You don't have thumbs, bud. No, if you had thumbs, you could help. Um, yeah, so go ahead and get the bathroom sink ready. Actually, I need to pick up another one of these. I forgot that we're gonna put one of those on the tub as well, on the where the P-trap connects into the shower tub. And so, yeah, I know I'm putting a lot of this on there because I don't want it to leak. I don't wanna have to redo it. Oh, you know what? We don't need another one. We don't need another one because I got something else cool to show you here. We'll put it on the. We'll put it on this one right here. This is actually what we got right here. Uh, this is for the where the valve is going to go, and the Schrader valve for filling it up in like on your cars where you put air in your tires. That'll actually screw onto here. But again, we don't have the right glue yet to put these together. Probably could just use ABS glue since it's just for the test, but I'll go ahead and get the right glue, make sure it's done right. Then that'll screw into there, and this will screw onto here. So we'll go ahead and put this on there. We'll get it as ready as we can right now. Okay, and this guy goes in here. That's the wrong direction. There we go. If you put it on the right way, then when you actually put the fitting in, it'll try to tighten it rather than try to unwrap it. Okay, see here? See how we got this loose end here? All right, so when you screw it in, it wants to make it tighter, not unwrap it. That was just a little tip that I had learned doing refrigeration work, and might be a tip you want to know. So there you go. So that'll go in there. Need to be glued in there, and that'll be good. Cap will go on top of here. All right, what's next? Um, oh yeah, we gotta clean out on the laundry. And it should never have to come off. That's why we're not using it where we put those caps on, because that's all temporary and that's gonna come apart. And then we're gonna put the P-traps in there and tighten it up. And I don't want a big mess of yellow stuff in there. So, I'm just gonna use it on these guys here. Wow. Mm, I guess that's it. Next up, let's um, let's do that three-inch cleanout out there. This is the other three-inch cleanout that the inspector wanted. He said it needed to either come through the rim joist or up inside and in, above the floor. I didn't really want to have to like put a cover plate somewhere. I mean, are you ever going to use it? Hopefully not ever. And so, um, like I've never, have you ever snaked a thing, snaked a drain, Jules? Me personally? Yeah, no. Yeah, like I mean, have you ever <laughs> known anybody to do it? Like did your dad ever do it? Pretty house? sure there was one time that my dad did it at home growing <laughs> up. Yeah. Growing up, we never did. Yeah. But Never we had, had any problem with the plumbing. But at that time, we had a couple of girls that were renting the apartment. Yeah. And like that's when that happened. So oh, they might I think, have been flushing things. Yeah, I think they flush. were flushing things in there that that they weren't supposed to. Right. So, but all growing up, we never had a problem that I can remember. Yeah. So you know, it's a precautionary thing, but hopefully we never have to open this. But anyway, so it's over here, and. Uh, that way we can can get to it from the outside. 
yeah there'll be a porch here but it can be accessed from underneath the porch or just have like a, a spot that's cut out not cut out but where the where you can unscrew it and then get to it from the porch all right screw that bad boy in there it's pretty foul now man all right so this guy i can't remember oh, i didn't go around yeah so this guy here is going to go in here this is going down into here and then our soil level is actually going to come up to about here this is right? our sewer yeah this is the clean out right here and so we're going to backfill up to here you guys see that big pile of dirt right over there? Bam, baby. That big pile of dirt <laughs> is going all around this house. So that is um, how we're getting our frost protection on our on our footer. We're gonna backfill this. Be about three feet deep. Hmm. All right, so. Are we gonna do that by hand? <sighs> in a wheelbarrow? Maybe. <laughs> we might do it with a wheelbarrow. It just depends. Hopefully not though, but it is possible. Whew, man, it's ripe. Okay, a generous amount. Maybe no part uncoated. Thin coat inside. Quarter turn. Hold for 30 seconds. That'll be good. That'll be up above ground level. I don't know how high it's supposed to be above. We can always he wants it lower than that see like ground level will be right there that way it'll always be sticking up huh mm -hmm. like you can't see miss it. it yeah you won't run over it or hit it with something hopefully not but i don't know what the rules are so we'll find out if we need to cut it off and make it lower then that's easy to do so not a big deal <laughs> always cracks me up all the tape lines that we have uh -huh. around here and the, the wood. wood grain. It's yeah, pretty neat. Wood, get, wood grain came out cool looking. Yeah. That was duct tape because we had a small gap. Right here you can see this like line. We had a gap in there so we put duct tape on the inside so that the concrete wouldn't come out. <laughs> it gives it character. Yeah. <laughs> okay, clean inside. Clean on the outside. Time to glue that, huh? Wow. Yep. So many things are permanent now. I know, huh? Whoa, that's getting messy. You good over there? Now you are. Whooshed. There we go question for you guys that are in the know I was talking with a plumber at Home Depot and he said the inspector is going to want to check it check pressure all the way down to the septic tank and so he said we have a couple options one is all right we take this apart and we go inside through the septic tank and we put one of those inflatable test bulbs like right in here inflate it up and block this pipe off that is the least desirable solution probably because we want to use this toilet still until we are ready to move into the house. The other option that he said is actually you just cut it like right here, cut it here, put a cap on it, and then um, use that. Just cut, cap it right there, glue it, and then you can pressure test it like that. And then when you're done pressure testing it, you just hook it back together use like i forget what he called but it's basically it's a rubber a rubber um coupling that has like hose clamp fittings on it so you screw it down tight it has like a metal outside ring and then you just connect it together with that right there so i'm gonna ask the inspector what he thinks but um i don't know what the options are for that basically i guess that way, way would be so much simpler. That would be more simple. And a lot less expensive. Well, I mean, taking this apart will be nearly free. Oh, yeah. No, Because the, the buy the bulb. Yeah, yeah the bulb that's thing's like, like. $70. Yeah, for like one of the long ones. Like a four, wasn't it? Four inch. Four inches, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll have to find out about that. But maybe you guys have some extra tips that you want to share. Yeah. Wow, that smells bad. I'm already smell bad. unlocked, opened Pandora's box. <laughs> I know. 
Pandora's box of foulness. Oof. This is one of my like favorite wrenches. It's not like super practical, but it's, we call it a Ford wrench. I think the story is that Fords came with them when you bought like a Model T Ford or something. Mm. This of course is a new one. It's made by Crescent, but um, we use them in refrigeration, industrial refrigeration for opening valves. So like you have a, a big metal valve, you take this guy, you put it on that valve and then it gives you leverage to open the valve. Like big ammonia systems, like for food processing plants and stuff. Like I worked at um, Golden State Food. We made, um, or they made all of the um, hamburgers from McDonald's, different ice cream factories, bottling plants, things like that. So anyway, it's good for opening those big valves. And apparently it's good for that. We want to thank all of our new patrons over at Patreon. Hope that you're enjoying all of the kind of behind the scenes footage, behind the scenes pictures and things like that on our patrons only Facebook group. If you guys want to check it out, there is a link down below. You can check out Patreon and see if uh, that's something that you might want to get behind and join us over there on the Patreon feed and also in our private Facebook group. Pretty cool stuff going on over there. I get this pipe right here into the house. We're gonna go under the footer right here. We're gonna dig down an additional two feet because we're gonna backfill this about three feet. So we'll go down an extra two feet. That way we'll be five feet underground just for 100% safety sake. Pop up here on the other side and do a straight shot right into the laundry room wall right there. Okay, so we'll have like three feet of exposed pipe before it gets inside the house. We can insulate that really well. So we're gonna dig about 40 foot trench. Yeah, two feet deep. Guys, you get the idea. We're gonna be digging down, laying some pipe, and putting it in the house. This is gonna be the last video in the plumbing series until we get to the inspection of the lower part of the uh, plumbing, okay? Hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling. And if you wanna see what else we're doing here on the homestead, click out that video right over there.